So I go to take this photo, right? Yo, there's an abnormal amount of people in the uh, photo area. Like, and I'm waiting, and I'm waiting, and I'm like, yo, the whole time I got to coach myself. Yo, it's not, it's all hope is not on, it's not gone. Like, just stay in the race, stay in the fight. I'm about to be a dad in like two weeks, guys. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, at the end of the day, I got to carry on, you know? So, psychologically, it's not, now's not the time to lose it. You know, so I, at the same time, I was like, look, we don't know for sure. Let's just stick to, you know, the plan and let's just make sure that we know for certain what, what's happening or what's not happening. So finally, they take this picture. After like waiting 20 minutes, normally I only wait like three or three to five minutes. I had to wait like 20. So I get this picture. I'm on edge the whole time. I go back to my doctor. He takes a look at it. Um... I had to wait in that office for like another five minutes. Like, this is the scariest like half hour of my life, man. And I've been through some scary half hours. Trust me. Okay? Like, getting stabbed in the eye was the easy part. That wasn't even that scary. That, to what I just endured about an hour ago, that was scary. Okay? So, doctor comes in the office. Doctor's like, Arne, okay, you don't have any retina detachment. That's not what's happening. You just got a lot of swelling in the back of your eye. I asked him two questions. I said, doctor, is there hope? I think that's the one question I asked him. Is there hope? He was like, yes. He, no, he said, I'm not sure. I got to talk to your retina doctor. I'm going to go meet with him now. I said, good, go, 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 go meet with him because I need to know. So he goes out the office for about another five minutes. Then he comes back in. He says, all right, listen, you have what they call impressive swelling. I said, impressive? What's so impressive about? He's like, I know. It's just a medical term. It just means that you have an abnormal amount of swelling. So basically, if my eye is, oh, God, how can I break this down for you guys? So basically, let's say, okay, let's say that. Oh, uh, man. All right, let's say my fist is my eyeball, right? Okay, so between my knuckles is like where my pupil is, okay? Where my thumb is would be where my retina is. That's the back of the eye. All the tissue, I'm opening up my hand now, all the tissue on this side of my finger, this side of my finger, inside the palm of my hand, all of that swelled so much that it's blocked the light that's getting between, you know, my pupil to my retina. That's basically what's happening. He's like, that's why you can't, that's why it's total black. He's like, I thought you had a stroke in your eye and your nerve, it just went. He's like, but you don't have any like retina detachment. You just have a lot of swelling. We got to get that under control. I was like, yeah, you do. You really do. He, so he gives me some medication to take. And he's like, you're going to take it four times a day. He's like, you know, that can be medicated away. So they're going to give you medication like four times a day. And then you're going to see your retina doctor in 48 hours. I said, all right. All right, cool. Sounds like a plan. Stick to the plan. Stick to the plan. Don't get... It's like playing football. I used to play football in high school. So I kind of know. Yeah, I... Things happen, but stick to the plan. Go out there, execute the plays the best as you, the best way you can. Keep calm, and don't lose your head. I'm pretty sure some of you who, I guess, are prize fighters or boxers, you kind of know playing a sport where you're one on one. Tennis players know this as well. Listen, you could be down in points. Things can be working against you. Stick to the plan, and then you'll change things around. But. Um, it is just a very scary scenario to have to apply such thinking. Um, when he said that you you might have had a stroke and there's nothing we can do, I was like, what? I'm about to be a dad in like a week, yo. What do you mean? Ugh. God, I was scared, man. Oh, my God. Anyway, guys, that's the update. Um, I'll, uh, I'll be back probably Friday on the 14th to give you another update as to how that goes. And um, uh, try to keep the, you know, updates a little more frequent. All right.